Hey, it's Rihanna. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna take a bath. Um, getting ready for the day a little bit earlier than normal. I don't usually um, get ready so early, but I have a doctor's appointment today for a well woman's checkup. Yay! I have, um, you know, been tracking my temps and stuff with. <clears throat> that obvious sense if you didn't see my whole review about that I'll leave a link up in the eye um, but yeah it's basically the short version of this is that things aren't working the way they're supposed to be so I found a um, a clinic that was I thought was based on income and then I actually found out that there's a program in Texas called Texas Healthy Women's or something like that and it provides um, these services for like was it like family planning or whatever um, so hopefully they can help me I went to Planned Parenthood like about six months ago or so and they were absolutely no help at all they basically were like we'll give you birth control I was like okay well that's not what I need but okay thanks for nothing so <clears throat> we'll see if this place will actually help me or not I'm all ready to go Got my legs shaved and face moisturized and all that. Why don't we get fancy for our female doctors? I shaved my legs for this. <laughs> so who watches Wendy Williams? Um, I don't actually watch her show, but when I get up in the morning, I put the TV on the news on Fox 26 in Houston. And I just leave the TV on all day, um, you know, playing in the background for the noise and um, and then for the dog also because if it's quiet in the house they bark or he barks and um, Wendy Williams comes on at 10 o'clock in the morning here in Houston and so like I sometimes pay attention to the beginning of the show because she like talks about social things that are happening and entertainment and like hot topic stuff you know and <laughs> she is really annoying she like smacks her teeth and like she like like picks stuff out of her teeth and burps and she breathes really like <gasps> and when she when she's fixing to start talking she'll go <gasps> like that like i don't understand how she was a dj on the radio because that's those types of things are even more annoying on the radio than they are on tv Anyways, I just want to know if anybody else doesn't like her as much as I don't like her. I didn't like her to begin with. I just never cared for her show, but not enough to like change the channel. But I might, I might start changing the channel because <laughs> I can't take it. <clears throat> All right, I got to my appointment. I'm here now. I'm fixing to go check in. I'm nervous. Fingers crossed that they can actually help me um, and not just tell me that I need to be on birth control. So I'm, I just left the doctor, well I didn't just leave the doctor, but I'm driving by my new house and I was going to show it, but the, the neighbor was outside so I didn't, but um, dang it, uh, I was going to show it, okay anyways, I just like to drive by it because it makes me happy that that might be our house one day, I mean I, we don't know what's going to happen obviously, oh they got flamingo. Yeah, I'm driving. I should probably not be vlogging. So I will let you know how the doctor's appointment went when I get to the house. Okay, back home, back from the doctor's office. Um, I don't have any answers right now, uh, obviously, because you have to wait for the blood work and all that. Um, but I had my well woman's exam. Everything, I guess, looked good. <laughs> Um, the lady was really, really nice, but she explained to me that in Texas, 
Basically, they only provide preventative services. So, or if you're already pregnant, they'll help you stop pregnancy, they'll help you, or they'll help you prevent pregnancy, and they'll help you after you're pregnant. But if you want to get pregnant, you have to seek it out um, on your own, and usually insurance doesn't cover it, and it's super expensive. So, um, yeah, she did like a full blood workup on me um, that she could do without me fasting. Um, if they would have told me to fast, I could have fasted. Fasted it did, but whatever. Um, I come in on Tuesday to fast. To fast. I come on Tuesday with flat to do fasting. Mm. I'll come in on Tuesday to do fasting blood work to get the rest of my numbers. She's gonna go ahead and do what's included with the well woman's exam is like a full like blood panel thing. So like a full physical. They're gonna take cholesterol and all that kind of stuff. So that's cool. Um, but yeah. I'll be looking forward to getting those results. And I did do a pregnancy test because I am technically late, I guess. And that was negative, unfortunately. <sighs> but now it's time to sit on the couch and watch the newest episode of My 600 Pound Life. You know, guys, I really feel differently watching that show now that I've lost a lot of weight. I used to watch that show at my heaviest. And I just had different feelings than I do now. I can't really explain what my feelings used to be, but my feelings now are like a lot of empathy. I feel a lot really empathetic toward these people. And I just, I could really see myself like in their shoes. Um, I was, you know, 367 pounds at my known highest weight. And I know that like these people were like 300 pounds and higher more than me. Um, but like, I'm not, I'm not naive, I'm not stupid. I know that like if I would have continued eating the way that I was eating, that I could very well have ended up, um, you know, immo immobile, 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 there we go. Um, and I don't think it would have taken 600 pounds. My body was really already shutting down at the weight that I was at at my highest. So I'm really glad, I'm really grateful that I've been able to get it under control and start moving in the right direction so anyways let's relax on the couch and chill until it's time to make dinner guys i hope you'll have a good day dinner is ready guys uh th this is the parmesan crusted chicken with bacon cream sauce and i did a tasty tuesday recipe on it so that'll be coming up as well and i also filmed a keto crate unboxing today um that ended up showing up this afternoon um, so that'll be um, coming up as well. I honestly do not even remember what I was saying. I know I told y'all that I made dinner and then I had the keto crate. And then I went to go sit down and eat dinner. I remembered that I had to serve a subpoena and like woof down my food. And now I'm sitting outside of the place where I served the subpoena the other day. Oh goodness me. My face has been getting really flushed lately and I don't know... Um, what it's related to but then today it's been like my cheeks have felt rosy and hot all day long oh, it's annoying I'm sure it's probably like keto related or something so anyways now I'm just sitting here waiting on the officer to show up so I can serve the subpoena and then I need to go try to do the second one that I couldn't get the other night if he's working this time I'm not gonna drive out there without checking <laughs> last time I drove out there and um, I didn't check to make sure he was actually working. Uh, and then when I got there, they're like, oh, he's not working tonight. I'm like, I'm a dummy. So. All right, well, now I'm just going to play on my phone and pass some time. Still didn't get the second guy. He must be on vacation or something. So back home, going to wrap up the vlog. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and the notification bell. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Is that my guy? Are you Baker? Are you Baker? Hello. Anyways, so yeah. Um, 